Hello everyone! Thanks for joining our latest episode of Ask Me Doctor, a special health video series for you and your family brought to you by motherhood.com.my. Today we have Dr. Raki in the house to talk about goodbye constipation, hello fun, essential strategies for happy kids. So let's dive right in, shall we? And also to Dr. Raki, thank you for joining us today. Hi Aliza, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, I'm so excited to actually ask you a few questions today. So let's dive into our first question, Doctor. So what causes constipation in kids? Well, a few things can cause constipation in kids. Not enough fiber, not drinking enough fluids, uh, being too inactive, mm -hmm. holding in bowel movements, certain medications and of course even certain med medical conditions can also be the culprit wow. in children. Okay, got it. So doctor, just out of curiosity, while I was giving my kids toilet training, I noticed that there is quite hard for me to actually get them to stay on a potty bowl and they can't even poo poo which leads to constipation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what do I do in this scenario? Well, don't worry Aliza, this is actually a very common thing among children and children will experience this because of fear or mm -hmm. sometimes uncertainty about using the potty right. or the big kid toilet, yeah. right? They may think that a bowel movement will feel unpleasant or painful mm -hmm. or the potty training may interrupt their playtime. So they definitely don't want to be interrupted during their play. So this causes them to delay their, their potty and then I eventually see. it causes that uncertainty and then it moves on to developing constipation. I see, so that's how it works. So it's, the, it's, just, it's still about getting them comfortable about going to the potty. Here, right? Absolutely. So doctor, when kids are having constipation, the common ways to deal with it is usually to eat fibers such as bananas, veggies, and you know, knowing kids, they don't actually like veggies. <laughs> are there any other ways to deal with this constipation issue? Well, you're not absolutely wrong, Aliza. Firstly, load up their meals and snacks with fiber-packed goodies, All right. fruits, veggies, whole grains and yeah. beans. These work wonders to help with pooping. But right. a tip for you also, kids can sometimes be very picky like you mentioned. So you can actually do some plating like a bento box and things like that yeah. with fruits and veggies to attract them to eat. Right. Now, the amount of fibre that your child needs depends on their age. Mm -hmm. On an average, aim between 14 to 31 grams of fibre per day. But remember, don't go overboard because too much fibre might also mess with their appetite and how their body absorbs nutrients. Mm -hmm. Oh, and one more thing, yeah. keep an eye on their water intake as well. Yes. Because if they're chomping down lots of fibre without enough water, it could actually make constipation worse. Right. So let's make sure that they stay hydrated, um, but keep things flowing smoothly, right? Yes. Try to avoid sugary drinks and processed snacks because of course that's going to make things worse. And right. I'm also going to add in here that banana may not be the absolute right fruit to use because certain um, enzymes in banana can actually cause constipation. I so there are some kids who have worsening of their constipation with banana right. and some kids who actually work well with banana. So that's something on the 50-50 wow. that I just want to point out here. Okay, okay. that's yeah. really something really new for me. I mean, I didn't even know that bananas could actually cause constipation. Yes. Help. Constipation. Culturally, it's always, if you're constipated, eat a banana, you'll be fine. Yes, 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 yes culturally. <laughs> but I prefer papayas, yeah. so I think that would be my go-to and prunes for older kids. I see. Alright, yeah. right. Okay, that's actually really fantastic advice. Uh, Alright, Dr. Raki, on top of food intake, are there any other ways to prevent or manage constipation in our kids? Well, here's the scoop, right? So the secret to keeping those little kids active and on the move, mm -hmm. right? That's the little secret. Let them go crazy, run around outside, oh, be gosh. kampong style, right? <laughs> or simply have a blast, right? Believe it or not, it actually helps to keep their tummies happy and content. Right. Oh, and here's a fun tip as well. Create a bathroom schedule. Okay. Right? To help them get used to a routine. Consistency is key, right? Um, for me, after a meal. So if your child goes to morning school, then don't create a routine in the morning. Start something where you're at home. So if your child comes back from school, after dinner time, create a routine. Half an hour, go, go, to, the, go to the toilet and just sit down. So every day, half an hour after their meals, go and sit down in the toilet. Whether or not anything comes out, you're creating that routine, you're creating that consistency, you're telling your child that, okay, this is the time that we've got to go potty because we're going to clean out our, our bowels. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a very good tip. So I guess it's about getting them comfortable and knowing that's a routine of when to, you know, kind of like let your body relax yes. and release and digest. So run around, <laughs> then get into a routine. Wow, seriously, it's that simple. Yes, it is. Okay, so parents out there, do you catch that? <laughs> okay, anyway, speaking about this, would there be any chance that constipation would become an issue and need medical advice? 
Well, if all the at-home tricks and remedies don't do the trick, mm -hmm. then of course things will get serious and just won't let up. I think it's time for you to call in the pros or go and see your healthcare professionals, your right. doctors. If your child starts seeing blood in their number twos mm -hmm. or their poop, if the constipation becomes a real pain in the you-know-where, it's best to seek medical advice because a doctor can give them a thorough checkup and dish out specific treatments to get things moving smoothly along. Mm -hmm. They might suggest using laxatives such as Macrogol 4000, mm -hmm. Bisacodil, yes. or even an enema if necessary. All right. So Macrogol 4000 works by softening and hydrating the stool, hence regulates the rhythm of your kid's bowel movement. Right. Where else? Bisacodil on the other hand is a stimulant laxative that acts on the nerve of the colon to produce mm -hmm. a bowel movement. I so see. and if things get really backed up, I think an anema is going to have to come to the rescue. Wow, wow. That's a lot of useful remedies, Dr. Yes. <laughs> okay, but wait, are these safe for babies? So usually constipation starts rearing its head when the kid starts munching on solids or mm -hmm. what we call weaning and yes. that's somewhere around six months of uh, age. Correct. So do visit your healthcare professionals or do seek help with your doctors if you need any advice at that particular age because of course every child at every age will have different remedies. Correct, that is so true. All right. Thank you so much Dr. Raki for sharing your expertise with us today. Your insights will definitely help parents navigate this common issue. Thank you for having me, Aliza. Yes. And to our audience today, don't forget to join our contest to stand a chance to win a motherhood AMD wellness box and merchandise from EP Plus, a pink shark soft toy and pill box with this simple step. Step one, answer this simple question. Name one type of laxative that is safe for children ages six months and older. Step two, tag three friends and share this post. Make sure that your account is in public mode. And that concludes our insightful video on managing childhood constipation. Don't forget, it is very important to have regular bowel movements. By understanding the causes and implementing simple strategies, we can ensure our children find relief and maintain good digestive health. This special episode has been brought to you by motherhood.com.my and a big thanks to EP Plus for sponsoring this episode of Ask Me Doctor. As always, we're here to support you on your parenting journey. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep those little tummies happy and healthy. I'm Aliza Sara. And I'm Dr. Raki. And this is motherhood.com.my. Bye! Bye.